This video is about planking after you've combed your tops. It's like this, it, it, you can work with it. But this, uh, this book is a definitive book about combing by Peter Thiel. Uh, and he does recommend planking your, your roving. Um, but I'll just show you a picture, actually. I mean, uh, for, it's quite interesting. I'll show you a picture of, of, the, of the, um, the combs he used which are really here yeah, quite monstrous, quite big, as you can see. Um, and there's a picture of them here with them. So they are pretty big combs, uh, which is not to do with the planking. <laughs> That's just because I wanted to show you that. But he, he recommends that you, you do what I've done. You, you get your roving ready and it's, it's here. Um, <clears throat> and he has pulled it off on much smaller, uh, smaller dears. So mine is quite thick. And he recommends breaking into 30 uh, inch lengths, which is about a metre, a bit under a metre. But I'm going to break um, this up into it. So you pull it out slightly and uh, pull it, stretch it slightly and then break it into equal lengths. So I'm just going to do that. OK, so I've now got two. And you might have more. I mean, if you've done a, a much longer piece of... Uh, is it sliver or roving? Whatever it is. Uh, tops, I think it is. Um, I, I, I would have three or four here. And then what you do is you break it into smaller lengths. And there is a, an argument here for making sure it's always going in the same direction, that your your butt ends and your staple points are going in the same direction. Well, I to be honest, haven't done that. Um, break it into smaller pieces, but, but side by side. So what you're getting, what you're doing here is is you're evening out the long and the short fibres because when you comb um, with your comb, the long fibres will come off first. So what you're doing here is you're evening it out again. You don't have to do this. It's probably a bit of a purist thing to do. But So I've now got these pieces that are, I don't know, what are they, 20 centimetres long? Let's just zoom in again to the combs. So now we've got these sort of 20 centimetre lengths, which are the two, if you remember, I had two lengths of tops or roving and I broke them, laid them side by side and then I broke them into smaller pieces. Now you put this back on to the original comb. And of course, this is much easier because it's been done before. And what you want to do is just to catch it on the comb like that. And this is going to even out. And if you've got long and short fibres in there, it will, it will spread them out more evenly in the finished fibre. just gives you an even nicer finish if you want to bother with it but I think for most people doing semi worsted they wouldn't bother probably so here we go we start again we start at the you know, little tiny edges of the of the fiber and you work through it again the same as before taking it off and this is evening it out even more You might get a bit of waste again. It depends if you want that wastage or not. And now you've got a comb. I'm going to swap these over and take this off again. I don't think you need to do it another time. I think that'll be fine. And I pull it out into a little pigtail. And it, it, at this point, if you wanted to go, you could go, go find that. I did it on a quite a big one because I'm going to spin with this quite big um, and just extend it out the roving
it doesn't look that different, but it, but it should, in theory, spin better. So that's planking. And I'll just remind you of the book again. It's Peter Thiel's hand combing, oh, sorry, hand and wool combing and spinning. But you don't need to, need to, it's an old book. Yeah, this is, there's an image of his planking. He lays it all out like this. Um, and you don't need to do all of that. Really, you don't. Um, this is a neat idea, actually. He winds his roving onto a hand knitting needle. And then when he spins, he puts that hand knitting needle in his lap and pulls it off the knitting needle. And I think that's a brilliant idea. Um, and I have done that. But there are lots of sources. Don't, uh, don't just stick with Peter Thiel. There are more modern sources. He is quite old fashioned. Um, this is so, there is equipment around now that predates his equipment and might be more to your taste. But look after your combs, keep the covers on and they'll serve you well.